Are you looking to tap into more advanced customization for your form widgets? Well, it's possible via CSS, and I'm going to show you how on this video right now. Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and I know you're anxious to change the look of your widgets, so I'm going to show you how on this video. Let's go ahead and create a simple form right now. Let's go ahead and create this form. We'll start from scratch, and we're going to select Classic Form. Now. We're going to work with some specific widgets. For example, not all widgets have custom CSS available. If you need to change the CSS, you can do so via form designer style, and you can inject the custom CSS. But some of the form widgets, like for example, the configurable list, let's go ahead and select it right here. There's a little wand right here. That's for the settings. You can see this right here, widget settings. I'm going to select it and we're going to go into custom CSS. Now, Take a look at it right now, and it's going to change when I add some CSS code to it. So right now, I've added a background color change for this specific widget. Now, be aware that if I add a basic element like full name on top or the email on the bottom, only the widget is being changed by the CSS code. For example, this is one of the examples for a custom CSS, and we can change the color by changing this background color. We can change fonts, we can change the boxes, we can change a lot of things via CSS. Let me give you another example with the multi-select grid widget. So let's go ahead and search for it. There it is, multi-select grid. I'm gonna add it right here. Wait for it to load. There we go, it just loaded. Now, again, we click on the wand for the widget settings and we go to custom CSS. Again, I'm gonna provide an example code just to show you that it's possible to change the look of the widget so right now what i'm going to do is change the minimum width of these fields now be aware that if i change this to for example 200 you can see that the spaces is just changed so we don't have to stick with what's provided with the widget we can customize it via css and if you need something more fine-tuned it could be 150 for example maybe that's the size that you need well, you can do it via CSS. Now, the idea of this is to make the widgets look the way you want via CSS. Uh, you do have to know CSS to accomplish this, but it's a great option to make your widgets customized. Well, we thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.